Now we're going to continue to prep this snoot. That's right, snoot. So we can put it together with the LSA supercharger. Now, if you remember, I took off the stock pulley so I can get a little bit more boost. Now with superchargers, the, the way you raise boost is through the pulley on the supercharger or either the pulley on the crank. So I went with a smaller pulley, which is gonna turn the supercharger a little bit more quicker, add a little more power, a little bit boost, <clears throat> add more boost. <clears throat> so now I gotta install this, this, uh, this hub. Now what I did was, you gotta be smart. <laughs> what I did was I got one of these hubs. Now I got all this from Syn Synergy Motorsports. They give you the Lingerfelder hub. You see this? This is going to go on and it has to be pressed in. So you got to be careful with that. And just in case later on down the road, if I want to change boost or whatever, it comes with it. It's a two piece. So instead of taking the hub off like I had to do with the stock one, I just take this off. It's held on by 10 bolts. And uh, this will allow me to change my boost. Very simple. All right. Now, they make a tool. They make a tool. It costs a couple hundred dollars. So you can install this thing the proper way. But, you know, this is this is the garage shop, man. We we build our own tools up in here. Now, I came across, I don't know, you know how sometimes you just gather stuff? I don't know how and where this thing came from, but I came across this thing. Alright? And I made this uh a snoot pulley install tool. Alright, because like when you're doing these builds like LS builds and, and you gotta be creative and you gotta build tools yourself because you would you want to you want to keep the money in-house for other stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so what I did was this thing, I, again, I don't know where I got this thing from, but I'm glad I got it. It's it's this. And if you look, it already had a center hole in it. All right. Which is cool. So I just drilled three little holes around it that match. Uh, you see this? There's three kind of like three uh, little things sticking up. Actually, it's a fourth one, a big one. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take my, we got to make a name for this thing, Terry, I don't know, supercharger pulley install tool, I don't know. But anyways, you take that and you put it like that. So it's nice and flush. You see what's happening? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in my press right here and press this down. So hopefully this will work. <laughs> Let's see. You do not want to mess up those bearings in there because now you got to send the snoot out. And uh, get rebaring. Is that such a word? Rebaring? <laughs> uh, I got into my press, and I guess a good sign is because the thing is moving freely. You see that? And I got a little bit of pressure on the pulley, on the snoot, should I say. So let's uh, crank it down, and hopefully. <laughs> I think that's it. All right, so I got it pressed on. I got the hub pressed on. At this point, you can go and drill a hole through the hub and through the shaft and install uh, the the dowel pin that comes with the kit. But I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think it's going to be necessary. But uh, at this, oh, it's looking good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start installing my little bolts. You got to put a little little Loctite on them and install the second piece, the second part, second piece part. <laughs> Comes with a little blue Loctite. And like I always say, I don't see nothing wrong with a little Loctite. I don't see nothing wrong. Bolt them down and torque them right, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's 10 of them here, and you gotta, of course, in sequence, in sequence, you can put them in anywhere you want, but at some point when you snug them down, there's an order which comes with the kit. <laughs> 